Hi, and welcome to the latest installment of my drum video blog. Now, if you saw the last edition, you may remember that I was talking about making what I call a soft landing, so that when when the stick makes contact with the instrument, you're as relaxed as you can be. And today I'm going to strip that a stage further back and look at a really common problem that I encounter with my students. And this is all to do with my approach to playing, which is doing very, very natural motion as relaxed as you possibly can be. And a lot of times when I look at a new student's hands, um, if they're playing this way, there's very often a lot of distortion to the side. Sometimes uh, the elbow can be tucked in, the wrist is turned away here. So it's really not a very efficient kind of motion. Uh, similarly, with traditional grip, the thing I hear all the time is that, oh, I only play traditional grip with brushes or if I'm playing jazz very quietly. And a lot of the problem there is that we get this distortion of the wrist either most commonly turned out that way. Sometimes you see the wrist turned inward this way. Um, and neither one of which is obviously terribly efficient. Uh, however, if you just look at what your wrist does, if you allow your arm to relax naturally by your side, it doesn't do that and it doesn't do that. And the natural position is just hanging off the end of the forearm. The wrist is an extension of the forearm. So if we take that through and bring it up to the playing position, see the thumb is pointing directly ahead of me, no distortion to the left, no distortion to the right, take the stick and harnessing the strength of these muscle groups, which keeping the hand very still, I'm able to do. I've got all the power in the traditional grip that I could ever wish for. Similarly, if you use match grip, the current, the most common problem that I come across is the pinch point fulcrum up here. And again, wrist distorting outward, wrist distorting inward. So just like with the left hand, arm by your side, totally relaxed position, wrist hanging off the end of the forearm, bring it up to the plane position, stick in the hand and rather than everything being up here in the thumb and index finger I try to keep a relaxed grip using the whole hand is just to stay relaxed and let your hand position be as close to what your hands do naturally. So remember that. This is great. This isn't something you've got to go and practice for hours and hours. This is just a little habit that you can get into. And if you have got some technique issues, then just by adopting a better habit, you will find out that there will be changes in your playing. They will come slowly at first and then more quickly. And as you teach yourself to relax more at the instrument, you're going to improve your sound, your velocity, your endurance, and a relaxed drummer is going to have a good relaxed groove, and that's probably the most important thing of all. So, until next time, see you then.